Good afternoon, and as a note, ET and Isha Kandugu came out. I hope you're doing well. I'm on my way to the exhibit about Ramesu the second, or Ramses the second, as we call him in English. Now, I just heard, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to live stream tonight. Now, we have established that all these Hebrews or lights have more respect for men that disrespect their God, that their God that they worship, allegedly, the God of the Bible. So that's established. And they're still capping over there. That, that idiot, Gaffir, and he shouldn't be mad me using that term, he used it towards me. When I let people know that he was uh, faking the funk about his bachelor's degree in history, which is invisible. Chris MVP Harris, Chris MVP Harris is on tape saying that he doesn't have a bachelor's in, in history. He said it. He said, you know, bring it forth or I expose that fake one you gave to me. I have the clip. So that's Kamal Garfield, who was a moderator for the debate between Tazi and Chaka Amos. He's on tape and I have a clip because, you know, nowadays this is what you have to do because they're going to deny. It. He said he doesn't know who won and who lost. I mean, he has to be some of the dumbest person living on the planet Earth in 2023. The dude was a moderator for the debate. Yet, he doesn't know who won and who lost. I mean, this dude. <laughs> Plus, we're going to see that Saka Sarnetta, that beach mate dude, first giving props to Shaka Amo, saying that he won all rounds, hands down. Then he's going to receive his messages, and the beach will switch. See, that's the exhibit right there. You see? That's the one right there. All right? Archaeological documents, something that most of these uh, House of Consciousness don't know about. <laughs> so, after Scam Nature receives some messages, he reads them, then he says, Oh, I'll should actually, I'll take it back. Uh, uh, he, he, it wasn't a landslide victory, but he had an edge. <laughs> I mean, those are supposedly grown men. Be made to the bone, man. They change their stance every day, every minute. You know what I'm saying? Oh my goodness. So from here you can see the sign here about the exhibit. It's just amazing, man. They don't have no backbone. Plus, that punk, uh, formerly Unk, formerly Brother Unk, that punk, now he no longer goes by the name Unk. He goes by Bobby Banger, strictly. And what's interesting, for the first time in my life, and I have a clip as well, because you know how they can deny stuff. He actually used the term Egyptomaniac. Now, maybe he used it before, but I heard him using it for the first time. That dude has been called Onk. First Onk cake, by the way. He has a YouTube channel of that name. For, for like, what? Well over a decade. For well over a decade. See that? Ramses. They have the gate and all that. For a decade, the dude's been onk. And now it's no longer that. It's no longer that. So he took him 10 years to figure out that he shouldn't be called that way. But it's all good, man. So, you know, the dear 4 p.m. ESC, we're going to laugh, and all those Hebrews who are lights that claim to follow the Bible, we all know that they are weak. They don't even follow their God. They don't even follow their Bible, and they don't mind somebody disrespecting their God. And um, 4 p.m. ESC, New York time, all right?